Do the medications you take confuse you or sometimes seem overwhelming? If you're an older person, the problem is probably especially frustrating because you are most certainly taking a variety of pills at different times of the day. Hi, I'm Tova Sasher. I'm the Assistant Director of Nursing here at Regents Park of Boca Raton. As a short-term skilled facility, we have residents, patients who come in who are usually over age 65 and are already on a multitude of medications. People end up in the hospital with an acute situation or even an elective surgery, and they go in with a list of medications that they're already taking. Once in the emergency room, or even once you're up on the unit, the doctors will go and change your medications. They're going to increase your doses, they're going to discontinue medications, they're even going to add new ones. When you come to Regents Park of Boca, the doctors here as well might make changes to your medication. While you're here, as nurses, we're administering the medication for you. We're opening the bottles, we're popping the pills out, we're keeping track of the time for you. Once you're home, it's all up to you. You might have home health care set up for you, but they're not there every day while you're taking your medication. I'm here to discuss some recommendations on how to stay organized and make the transition easier and a little less overwhelming. For starters, you might ask a friend or a family member to come over to look at the medications and help you start to get organized. You can make a list, take a large piece of paper, have them write out the names of the medication, the doses, and the times that you take it. One of the common pitfalls that we see, people go home with medications and they know them by a certain name. When you fill your prescriptions in the pharmacy, it might have a different name. For instance, it might have a brand name and then the new medication has a generic name. That can be very confusing. We recommend that you write the name, both the generic and the brand, on your bottle, on your blister pack, so that you can identify which medications are which and not to duplicate. We often send people home from Regents Park with one of these handy little cards. This is an emergency medical record that we recommend that you keep with you at all times. It's very handy when you go to your doctor's appointments to have it readily available so you don't have to memorize the medications that you're currently taking. On this list, there's plenty of space to write the name of the medication, the dose that you're taking, which is the amount that you're taking, and the times that you take them. We recommend that you write this all down in pencil so that you can make the necessary changes as you need to. Don't forget, although you may not think of them as medications, vitamins and supplements should go on this list as well. Doctors consider those medications. We also recommend that you go to your local store, pharmacy, and pick up one of these handy pill boxes. As you see, they're nicely printed, large, for every day of the week. And you can ask somebody to set you up, that family member or friend, initially to put the medications in the right day. For those of you who are taking several medications at several times of the day, this one is a little heftier. It has your days of the week, and you have separate areas for morning, noon, evening, and even bedtime. If you'd like to set up 30 days worth of your medication in the box, this contraption is about $40. You could probably find it online. You can check your local stores. The compartments come out. You have a nice area here where you can write down the name of your medication, the amount you're taking, and the times you're taking it. Very easily accessible. Again, write it in pencil. Sometimes it can get confusing to remember which times you're taking your medication, even though you have it written down. We recommend you set a timer. Use an egg timer. Use your alarm clock. Use your cell phone. They have um, calendars with preset timers in there, and you can have a reminder what time you need to take your medication. There is no one size fits all. See what works best for you. Try several things out. Find what works best for you. Follow your doctor's orders. Follow your doctor's recommendations. If you have any questions, call your pharmacist. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for listening.